We got a morning rebound in equities this morning. Then the cash market opened and everything went negative. Now they're rebounding again. As I speak to you right now, we got the Dow up about 30 basis points, the S&P up about 60 basis points, the NASDAQ up about a quarter of a percent, and the Russell leading up one and a half percent. So once again, the morning bounce didn't hold, but that sort of mid-morning bounce seems to be coming in and stabilizing things again. There's a lot of volatility and a lot of movement. So this particular part of this conversation between you and me probably isn't relevant by the time you're seeing it. Once again, yields are lower. So, so far for this year, yields have fallen by the most since 2001. It's only two days tiny little data set. So it may not matter at all in the course of a few weeks or a few months, but that's where it is right now. The five-year 387, the 10-year 370, the 30-year at a 380 yield. Those are all down seven, nine, and eight basis points respectively. Two years back down to 437 and that twos tens inversion back to 67 basis points. Go all the way back to the end of December, December 27th or 28th, we're in the 40s. So we've moved quite a bit on that inversion. The crude oil plunge continues. It's down over 4%, below $75 a barrel. Niag uh, Niagara, Nigeria's production was up, which was a little surprising. And economic indicators continue to weaken. US ISM manufacturing fell to 48.4, still in contraction, worse than the expectations of 48.8. Mortgage applications in the U.S. down 10.3%. So data continues to push toward a slower economic environment. Now, looking ahead today, we get the FOMC minutes. That could be very market moving, depending on if we get some clue on where the terminal rate might end up. If they had that conversation, I'm sure they did. Tonight, we get China's Cation Composite and Services PMI. Tomorrow, Consumer Confidence in Japan, Construction PMI in Germany, Services PMI in the U.K., ADP employment figures preceding the jobless, or the, I'm sorry, the non-farm payrolls number on Friday. We get jobless claims tomorrow, and we also get composite and services PMI in the U.S.